I am Pinoy Rob. I am Pinoy Rob. I am Pinoy Rob. Hey. I am Pinoy Rob. For the headlines, weather forecast, easterlies brings winds and showers to eastern Luzon and Visayas. Local news, police officers with relatives running in 2025 polls reassigned. Clay production in Tagayan de Oro aims to be preserved. Affordable meat now available at Tagayan de Oro City Hall Mini Park. Oka and Clarex criticize lack of progress on DA's 20 million peso storage facility. National News DOJ considers placing witness connecting Go to the godfather of Pogo's in witness protection program. International News Pope urged to reverse church ban on gender affirming care during LGBT gathering. Entertainment the backstory of Mackie's surprise appearance at the Laney concert. Sports Reyes Cup The Magician's Team Asia Battles Carl Boyes Team Europe in Billiards International Feature NASA Investigates Is Life Possible on a Moon of Jupiter? National Feature Philippine Government Maintains Pinay Surrogates in Cambodia are victims amid potential criminal liability. Trivia Does water expire? If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning Philippines, Magandang Umaga Luzon, Ogmay Adlao, Visayas, Mindanao. Today is Wednesday, October 15, 2024. I am Mathalia P. Saniel. Local news. Police officers with relatives running in 2025 polls reassigned. The Police Regional Office 10 has begun reassigning several police officers as part of the Philippine National Police preparations for the 2025 elections, aimed at ensuring neutrality and impartiality during the election period. PRO 10 spokesperson Major Joan Navarro stated that the first batch affected includes three commissioned officers and 113 police non-commissioned officers, all with relatives running in the 2025 polls. The temporary reassignments are intended to prevent any pot potential misuse of police influence in favor of their family members. This part of the PNP's broader election security strategy which includes rotating officers to reduce the risk of political bias. Navarro emphasized that the goal is to maintain the integrity of the electoral process and prevent any law enforcement interference. Before the reassignment of these 116 personnel, 11 police officers who served 
as command commanders in various stations across northern Mindanao had already been relieved under PNP's poli policy of regularly rotating officers. This policy prevents strong local ties that could affect impartiality. The PNP plans to continue evaluating its ranks in the lead up to the 2025 elections with further reassignments as needed. Navarro noted that these transfers are temporary and officers are expected to return to their posts after the election period unless other issues arise. This, are, this reassignment strategy aligns with COMELEC and PNP's nationwide efforts to depoliticize the police force, ensuring a peaceful and credible 2025 election process. Clay production in Cagayan de Oro aims to be preserved. The proposed ordinance seeks to ensure the sustainability of the clay industry in Barangay Bulwa, where the raw materials for clay production are sourced. Local craftsmen in the area have long relied on this source for creating traditional clay products such as pots, bricks, and other handmade items. This cultural craft is deeply embedded in the community's heritage and economy. By preserving this industry, the local government aims to provide economic benefits to artisans, create more livelihood opportunities, and enhance the city's cultural tourism. The proposal also includes measures for environmental conservation, ensuring that the extraction of clay is done responsibly to prevent depletion of natural resources. Councillor Balaba further emphasized that the clay production in Bulwa has the potential to attract more tourists as the demand for locally crafted, sustainable, and eco-friendly products continues to arise. The ordinance envisions turning Bulwa into a destination for tourists seeking to learn more about traditional clay making techniques and purchase unique clay items. This, in, in return, would stimulate local economic growth and promote cultural preservation. Affordable meat now available at Cagayan de Oro City Hall Mini Park. The public can now purchase pork, rabbit meat, lechon and processed meat products at lower prices at the mini part of the city hall this part of the celebration of the 31st meat consciousness week led by the city veterinary office acting city veterinarian dr helen antakandong stated that the primary goal of the event is to raise public awareness about meat safety this initiative is strongly supported by City Mayor Rolando Clarix Uy with a theme for this year, Meat Safety and Quality for a Prosperous New Philippines. The event also aims to promote locally sourced meat products and support local farmers and producers. By offering affordable meat options, the city government hopes to make quality meat more accessible to the public while ensuring that the meat meets safety standards. Dr. Takando emphasized the importance of educating the public on proper meat handling, preparation, and storage to prevent foodborne illnesses. Aside from the sale of affordable meat, various activities and demonstrations are being held to educate consumers on how to properly select, handle, and prepare meat products. Local producers are also showcasing their processed products, offering visitors a variety of choices. The initiative not only promotes meat safety, but also encourages the public to support local agriculture. Oka and Clarex criticize lack of progress on DA's 20 million peso storage facility. Former City Mayor Oscar Moreno described the actions of City Mayor Rolando Clarex Uy as lacking direction regarding the 20 million peso cold storage facility built within the city engineering compound in Barangay Kauswagan. This statement came after Uy blamed Moreno for the project's incompletion, which was intended to benefit the agricultural products of farmers in northern Mindanao. Moreno clarified that the city's contribution was only the land for the project while the funding for the construction of the building 
specifically the monolithic dome cold storage facility came from the department of agriculture in 2022 he added that the project would have been completed sooner if Clarex had taken the initiative to coordinate with the DA to ensure its completion. Moreno further emphasized that the cold storage facility was a crucial project aimed at helping local farmers by providing a space to store their perishable products, such as fruits and vegetables. The delay in the facility's completion could lead to losses for farmers who rely on proper storage for their goods, especially during harvest seasons when supply exceeds demands. Weather forecast. Easterlies bring winds and showers to eastern Luzon and Visayas. The term easterlies refers to the trade winds blowing from the east often associated with relatively stable and warm weather. However, when these winds interact with the terrain of the Philippines, particularly in the eastern sections of Luzon and Visayas, they can bring moisture from the Pacific Ocean. This moisture often leads to increased cloud cover, light to moderate rainfall, and sometimes isolated thunderstorms in these regions. The effect of easterlies is more pronounced during the dry season, but can still influence weather patterns at other times. Typically, provinces such as Quezon, Bicol Region, Eastern Samar, and Leyte are among the most affected by the easterlies, experiencing intermittent rains that may disrupt daily activities or cause localized flooding in low-lying areas. Though not as severe as monsoons or tropical storms, the easterlies contribute to the Philippines' overall wet weather during certain periods, providing much-needed rainfall for agriculture, but also posing a risk for outdoor plants and travel in affected regions. I am Pinoy Rap. I am Pinoy Rap. I am Pinoy Rap. Hey. I am Pinoy Rap. National News. DOJ considers placing witness connecting God to the Godfather of Pogos in witness protection program. The Department of Justice announced on Monday that a witness who connected the dismissed Bamban Tarlac Mayor Alice Go to the so-called boss of bosses in the illegal Philippine offshore gaming operator industry may be included in the government's witness protection program. The announcement comes amid ongoing investigations into the alleged involvement of Go in various illegal activities linked to the Pogo sector, which has been scrutinized for its ties to organized crime and corruption. The witness reportedly provided crucial information about Goh's connection to high-ranking individuals within the Pogo network, indicating that her dismissal was not merely isolated as an incident, but part of a broader investigation into the Pogo industry. The DOJ emphasized the importance of protecting the identity of the witness, who may face risks due to their cooperation with authorities. Inclusion in the WPP would provide the necessary protection and support to ensure the safety of the witness as they testify against influential figures involved in the POGO operations. The POGO industry has faced significant criticism in recent years, particularly regarding its association with criminal activities such as money laundering and human trafficking. The government has been working to regulate the sector and crack down on illegal operators to restore public trust and address concerns surrounding the impact of these operations on local communities. 
The DOJ's move to consider the witness for the protection program reflects a commitment to pursuing justice and accountability in the ongoing fight against corruption and crime within the gaming sector. Further investigations are expected as authorities gather more evidence and testimony related to Go and other individuals implicated in the Pogo scandal. International News Pope urged to a reverse church ban on gender-affirming care during LGBT gathering. Pope Francis faced calls to overturn the Catholic Church's ban on gender-affirming care for transgender individuals during a meeting with LGBTQ activists on Saturday, October 12 at the Vatican. The 80-minute pr private discussion included a Catholic sister working with LGBTQ communities, a member of a transgender community, and a U.S. doctor running a clinic providing gender-affirming hormonal care. Michael Sennett, a transgender man from Boston, shared his positive experiences with hormone replacement therapy and surgeries that have helped him feel comfortable in his body. He emphasized the importance of acceptance within the church for transgender individuals. Activists urged the Pope to reconsider the church's stance arguing that the ban of gender-affirming care harms the emotional and psychological well-being of LGBTQ members. They highlighted the conflict between this policy and the church mission to provide love and support to all individuals. Pope Francis has previously shown openness to LGBTQ issues, advocating for compassion, but this meeting marked a significant moment for activists seeking policy changes the ongoing dialogue within the church reflects a cultural shift towards recognizing lgbtq rights even as resistance remains in some factions the meeting concluded with calls for further discussions between the church leaders and lgbtq advocates to foster understanding and support for transgender individuals within the church Entertainment. The backstory of Mackie's surprise appearance at the Lamy concert. OPM hitmaker and the loud singer Mackie delighted fans last Saturday when he made a surprise appearance on stage at Lamy's sold out concert at the Philippine Arena. The crowd erupted in cheers as Mackie joined Lamy frontman Paul Klein. Klein. The crowd erupted in cheers as Mackie joined Laney frontman Paul Klein to perform one of the band's newest tracks, Out of My League, adding an unexpected local flair to the international act's performance. In an exclusive interview with ABS-CBN News, Mackie expressed his astonishment at receiving the invitation from the concert promoter. Initially, the plan was for him to serve as the opening act for the band. But as the concert approached, the arrangements changed dramatically. Instead of simply warming up the crowd, Bucky was invited to join Laney on stage for a collaborative performance. Maki shared his excitement about the opportunity, mentioning that he has been a longtime fan of Laney and their music. He highlighted how surreal it was to share the stage with artists he admires, emphasizing the thrill of connecting with both Lainey and their audience. His surprise performance not only showcased his talent but also resonated with fans who appreciated the blend of OPM and Lainey's unique sound. The collaboration exemplified the growing synergy between local and international artists, further enriching the concert experience of attendees. Fans took to social media to express their enthusiasm, calling the surprise appearance a highlight of the evening and praising Mackie's performance alongside Lainey. The event underscored the vibrant music scene in the Philippines, showcasing the talent of Filipino artists 
on a global platform. Sports Reyes Cup The Magicians Team Asia Battles Carl Boyes Team Europe in Billiards Billiards fans are in for a treat as for the first time ever. Efren Bata Reyes and Team Asia will face off against Team Europe in the highly anticipated inaugural Reyes Cup. Scheduled from October 15 to 18 at the Nino Aquino Stadium in Manila. Reyes serving as Team Asia's captain will team up with the Filipino star Johan Chua and Taiwan's Ko Pin Yi. Chua recently clinched victory at the Hanoi Cup on Sunday, showcasing his exceptional skills in the sport. While Pin Yi also made headlines by reaching the finals at the same tournament, solidifying his reputation as a formidable player. Team Europe will be captained by English billiard sensation Carl Boyes, who is joined by other top players, including the dynamic pair of Mark Gray and European champion Jason Shaw. With Boyes at the helm, Team Europe aims to lev leverage their experience and skill to challenge Reyes and his team. The Reyes, the Reyes Cup marks a historic moment in the billiards community celebrating the rich heritage of the sort in the Philippines while promoting international camaraderie. This event will feature a series of exciting matches across various billiards disciplines, including 9-ball and 10-ball formats. Fans can expect thrilling action as these elite players compete for pride and glory. As the tournament approaches, anticipation builds with many enthusiasts eager to witness the legendary Reyes in action. International Feature NASA Investigates Is life possible on a moon of Jupiter? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Ignition And liftoff Lift off for Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. Is there anywhere else in our solar system that could support life? An imposing NASA probe is set to launch on one day on a five and a half year journey to Europa, one of Jupiter's many moons, taking a significant first step toward answering that question. The Europa Clipper mission aims to gather detailed data about Europa, which scientists believe may harbor an ocean of liquid water beneath its icy crust. This hidden ocean has raised hopes among astrobiologists that Europa could support life, making it a prime target for exploration. The probe will employ a suit of advanced scientific instruments to analyze the moon's ice shell, surface composition, and potential plumes of water vapor that may erupt from its surface. Key objectives of the mission include mapping the moon's surface and subsurface structure, studying its geology, and assessing its habitability. The Europa Clipper will perform close flybys of the moon, capturing high-resolution images and gathering data that could provide insights into the chemical makeup of its ocean including whether it contains the necessary ingredients for life, such as organic compounds and essential elements. Europa's intriguing characteristics have led to comparisons with Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, which has already provided evidence of active hydrothermal activity that could sustain microbial life. The findings from the Europa Clipper mission could not only enhance our understanding of Europa, but also inform future missions to other icy worlds in our solar system. This mission marks a significant milestone in NASA's ongoing commitment to explore and understand our neighboring celestial bodies, with the ultimate goal of answering fundamental questions about the existence of life beyond Earth. As the launch approaches, excitement builds within the scientific community and among space enthusiasts. 
all eager to learn what secrets Europa may hold. National Feature Philippine government maintains Pinay surrogates in Cambodia are victims amid potential criminal liability. The Philippine government maintained its stance that the Filipinas involved in the surrogacy scheme in Cambodia are trafficking victims, even as they face potential criminal liability under Cambodian law. The Department of Foreign Affairs emphasized that the women were misled and exploited by unscrupulous individuals who preyed on their desperation for financial stability. Officials highlighted the lack of adequate information and support available to these women, making them vulnerable to exploitation in the international surrogacy market. The situation came to light after reports revealed that a number of Filipina surrogates were arrested in the Cambodia, leading to a crackdown on illegal surrogacy practices in the region. Philippine authorities have been coordinating with the Cambodian government to ensure the safety and welfare of the detained women, as well as the, to provide them with legal assistance. In addition to asserting that these women are victims, the Philippine government has also called for a thorough investigation into the syndicates involved in trafficking and illegal surrogacy. They aim to bring justice to the affected women and hold those irresponsible accountable for their actions. Human rights advocates have expressed concern over the plight of these surrogates, urging the government to prioritize their protection and rehabilitation. The ongoing dialogue between the Philippine and Cambodian authorities reflects a broader commitment to combat human trafficking and protect vulnerable individuals exploited by illegal surrogacy networks. Trivia. Does water expire? While water itself remains chemically stable and doesn't expire, significant concerns arise regarding its storage, particularly in plastic bottles. Over time, especially when exposed to heat or sunlight, these bottles can leach harmful chemicals into the water. Notable concerns include bisphenol A, which can disrupt hormonal balance and has been linked to reproductive problems and certain cancers. Although many manufacturers now use BPA-free plastics, other chemicals can still be harmful. Additionally, microplastics can enter bottled waters as the plastic breaks down, posing potential health risks such as inflammation and toxicity. Bacterial growth is another issue, particularly if bottles are reused without proper cleaning. Even sealed bottles can become contaminated if not stored correctly. As plastic degrades, it may impart unpleasant odors and flavors to the water, which can de deter consumers from drinking it. Environmental factors such as high temperatures can further accel accelerate plastic degradation and worsen taste and health risks. To ensure safe storage, it's crucial to choose high-quality, food-grade containers made of glass, stainless steel, or BPA-free plastic, particularly for long-term storage. Store water in a cool, dark place to minimize exposure to temperature fluctuations and light. Implementing a first-in, first-out system can help manage stock effectively ensuring older bottles are used first. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Please subscribe, follow, like, and share Pinoy Rob on YouTube channel. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, 
and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.